So today we're here at Burgoyne Bay Provincial Park, which we also call Kwa Kwam. And that means place of the merganser duck. This land, this place that we're on and work on, used to be the village of my ancestors. For thousands of years, they were here. It's got quite a few diverse ecosystems and because of past practices in this park, a lot of what we're trying to do is restore some of those ecosystems to be in a more natural state than what they are now. We began the work by really monitoring the lands around us in terms of invasive plants. And essentially what those plants have been doing is outcompeting our native plant species. They take over, essentially. We did a small wetland in the far corner of the park just to sort of test out how that looks and to get used to the idea of restoring wetlands and hydrology. It was a way to show in a small scale way what we might want to do more of in the future. We're supporting Stakea and the Cowichan First Nation. They're the ones that are really leading this project. So what we're going to be doing is we're going to be fencing off a great area of the park here and we're going to start a restoration and taking out invasive plants and we're going to be creating wetlands so that we can actually sequester the water into our aquifers and back into the watershed. We can actually keep more of our water here and also create a habitat for endangered wetland species. We've planted over 900 um, native plant species that are specific to wetland environments. So we've increased biodiversity, we've increased the groundwater table. Following the creation of the wetlands, we plan to create more. As my dad always says, we are putting the heartbeat back into the land. One of our teachings is that you think of your seven generations ahead of you and behind you. By being here, by carrying out this work, I'm healing my ancestors who never had this opportunity and who were forcibly removed and extracted from these lands. My presence here, our presence here, is, you know, true work towards reconciliation. You know, as an organization, we don't hold privilege and BC Parks um, holds privilege in quite a few ways and we um, really appreciate that allyship to uplift what we have to say and the things we want to achieve. Everyone's learning from each other and if you're working together you just have that much more capacity. I'm thankful for the connections that we've made so far and um, I'm excited to expand on our relationship in the future. <laughs>